Welcome, Welcome to, to Cooking, Cooking with, with Grandma. Grandma. I'm Sandra. I'm Kevin. I'm Grandma. <laughs> today, today we're cooking Vrangbang, which is a dish from our native land in Kutja, China. And uh, Grandma's taught us this dish uh, today. Um, we, we have it almost every year, and it's one of our family's favorite dishes, so enjoy. We got tapioca starch. <laughs> and pour. very finely mashed potatoes. I wouldn't say finely, but our attempt at making finely mashed potatoes. As good as it could be. Look at the thickness. It of definitely it. does not meet her standards. <laughs> She's judging. She's like, keep looking over at the bowl. Okay, pour half a bag at a time. Yeah. And I'm gonna stop thick. mixing this with my hands. I did wash my hands, not because of the coronavirus. Twenty but seconds. Because I'm dealing with food too. I'm gonna mix it. <gasps> oh, did you? <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> okay, how about you clean up? I got it, that's right, I got it. If only you could see the floor right now. <laughs> oh, oh, and then the pants. <laughs> Wait, I don't. It's <laughs> difficult. Am I, oh, there we go. So. Wait, it what's feels the ratio? Moist. Of starch to potato. Uh, it's definitely not ready yet, so we need to put more starch in. Oh, I mean, like, how do you know when to stop? Uh, we use our feel, <laughs> our judgment, because we don't have measurements right now. I don't but think they ever. This use is them. four pounds of potatoes so far, and uh, seven ounces of tapioca starch. Maybe Let's add another seven ounces. All right, just add it in the middle. Yeah, strip some of this off my hands as you go. So that we don't waste. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I hope the CDC is not watching because we're clearly touching hands. We are not taking six feet away. <laughs> oh god. All the germs are being. Uh, I swear you washed your hands. Yeah. All the germs are being. I feel like I should take my watch off. Yeah. But it's a little too late, late now. Okay. Yeah, take that stuff off. Yeah, just, just pull. Cool. All right, guys, so this is a Chinese gnocchi stew that we're making. No, don't even, don't even make a comparison to gnocchi. Well, it's, it's like gnocchi and that's used potatoes. But we made it first. Oh yeah, I mean, the Chinese definitely made everything first. Gnocchi but... is a version of this. So you know how gnocchi is like nice and pillowy and fluffy? This is more uh, starchy and chewy mm. in, in texture, a little if, more bouncy. If anyone has watched Avatar The Last Airbender, there's an episode where they're eating Avatar-shaped, like, goo. And that's what it looks like? I haven't seen it. It looks like that. What is this? That's our new festival food! Unfried dough! Happy Avatar Day, everyone! <laughs> so maybe your friends maybe educated. everyone's shocked. I've never seen Avatar. Any, anyone is educated. <laughs> <laughs> that and is so good. in Chinese, it's called yu tou gao, which translates to taro Ooh. pastry. Not bad. Um, so in in the past, in China, they couldn't um, make this using using potatoes because they couldn't grow potatoes. So instead, they use taro and. Um, we haven't used it, we haven't made this with taro before, but it seems to work well with potatoes because of the starch content in it. Um, once we make the kind of the pastries out of this dough, we'll then put into a soup, which we will show you later. A uh, little bit tougher than a bread dough. A little bit tougher. <laughs> so that we can roll it and shape it. As you can see, we're getting that doughy consistency slowly forming. Wow. <laughs> as we combine more of the starch with the potato mixture. All right. All right, so here we are. We are real close to the consistency we're looking for. As you can see, oh my God. <laughs> the dough is a little less sticky, a little more <laughs> fully together. It's okay, it was just one chunk. <laughs> a little more fully together. Yeah. <laughs> I can say I'm, I'm literally working out the sweat. Oh. Sandra is really working on her <laughs> biceps and triceps here. Yeah. Now we have to add a little oil. Because, so the consistency you want in the dough is when it doesn't start sticking to your hands. And when you add a little bit of oil, it, it allows it to grease up a little bit <laughs> as, as the dough queefs. 
dough, dough is now of a proper consistency. As you can see, it's kind of tough, but also like not sticky. It's like Play-Doh. There you go. So we're going to shape these into kind of octopus-like pieces and place them on this tray. And we're going to make a whole bunch. It says about like six to eight, I would say. This? Maybe 10 to 12. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Six to eight people? But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big portion. All right, we're rolling these things. A little ball. You can turn it down. Hello, uh, we are editing this video and I just want to clarify that this background noise you hear in a few seconds, that is crash landing on you. Wonderful K-drama, highly recommend. I am hooked and we were watching it while rolling the dough. So if you are bothered by the sound, I'm not sorry. You should watch the <laughs> show. Right, so you get a little ball and you roll it. Roll into a little log and pinch it in the middle. I tried, but like my hands are too fat. Maybe bring it to the other side So here we, here we have the stew brewing. What's inside it is uh, a fatty minced pork, some shiitake, dried shiitake mushrooms, dried squid, some bamboo shoots and some garlic. It was sauteed first to intensify the flavors and then we added a bit of water. We're adding this to a pork bone broth so that we can get the umami out of the mushrooms, the squid, and the pork. Um, and it really becomes a nice thick broth and soup. We finished the rolling the set of dumplings. And now we're gonna put them in the broth, which has thickened up pretty nicely. Roma smells pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna dump these in. Ooh. There goes the legs. And watch them boil. So the, the starch from the potato dumplings will make the soup and broth really uh, thick. And so it becomes a real nice stew. Alright, so we're going to put the egg wash in. Essentially just to create an egg drop like soup. <laughs> so drop it a little bit at a time. So here's the finished product. You add a bit of green onion and a little deep fried garlic oil. As you can see, it's nice and uh, wiggly. <laughs> the stew's got a beautiful umami flavor and a very nice uh, aroma to it. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Tune in next week for another episode of Cooking, Cooking with, with Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>